fabulous. You know, it's a real, uh, it's, I would say, a rude awakening in many ways because, uh, you know, we always like to ape people from uh, the West, you know, and uh, it's a very humbling feeling when you have uh, a master from our part of the world, you know, and an Eastern master when it comes to uh, his philosophy who became a giant going across to the West and conquering the Western world as early as the turn of the uh, you know, 19th century, the 18th century. It's, uh, it's a very humbling experience. It shows that there is a part to uh, self-realization and some of the techniques uh, you know, which you see in the movie and which are spoken about is uh, quite unbelievable. You know, people say you know, that you live in the modern day and age in a, in a, you know, you experience a life of materialistic stuff, artificial stuff. You know, you really don't hit reality the way it should. But I'm sure when you, when you watch this film, you know, nothing is impossible. If you can practice those techniques, you will realize the path to self-realization. You know, there's also a saying always said, live in the now. What is the now? It is reality. You know, when you get, keep getting a reality check, you will know how to live in the now and not think too far ahead, not think too far behind. Well, sir, fantastic movie. Sir, 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 I thought the, the best part which I said later on was uh, how a man, a human being, you know, just with a relationship, you know, like a guru shishya relationship with them, you know, through a relationship with his guru, Yukteswarji, could travel that far, you know, single-handedly into the United States with nothing in hand, no baggage whatsoever, and then conquer the West just on sheer self-belief and uh, the power of self-realization. Unbelievable. Thank you.